Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doombreaker again, and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. So this is part eight in my Visual Basics the Basics series, and today we are going to cover the try catch statement. So I went ahead and I made a uh, text box here, a button, and another button. So this is button one. This is button two. And in the code, I already made an integer. I already made uh, this in button one. So button one is convert to integer. So what this will do is it will um, convert everything that's in text box one dot text to an integer. And it will put that value inside our uh, variable right here. So button two dot click is just going to display our integer. So uh, if we debug this, we can say five, convert, check, and it's going to say five. If I now put in 10, but don't convert it yet, it's still going to be five. But once I convert it, it's going to be 10. But however, if I put hello, which is not a number, and convert it, my program is going to crash and give uh, an error saying that, well, I cannot convert this to an integer, which is of course normal because a letter can be converted into a number. Pretty logical. So um, the way to fix this crash, because you can't, um, well, you can uh, make sure that your, um, uh, your customer doesn't type in a number, but you can also easily fix uh, that and just uh, make a pretty short code uh, without having to type a lot of uh, stuff like um, the text box can't contain uh, um, the letter H, the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the letter whatever. Um, so you can uh, throw all that away and just make one simple code called the try catch statement. So the try catch statement will just try to catch all uh, errors and just do something else if the error occurs. So for example, if I type try, so uh, as you can see, try must be matching an end try, but that is for later. So end try, and now here catch, so what this will do is it will try to convert whatever is in text box one to an integer. If that doesn't work, it's going to catch it and do whatever is in here. So um, for example, we can type message box, uh, unable to convert text, whoops, text to integer. And now let's make it a critical and let's say error. All right, so if we now try to convert hello to an integer, as you can see, a message box shows unable to convert text to integer, but our program doesn't crash. So I can still use it and still convert five to an integer. So this is going to work. I can type nine, bam. So that's basically what an integer uh, and a, a try catch statement does. However, if you don't want to type the message box yourself, because you might be saying, uh, well, now you know that they are going to type in hello because you are the user currently. So um, they might do something else that causes a crash. Uh, how do I know what they have done wrong? So what you can also do is just delete all that. And just after the catch statement, you, you uh, type catch ex as exception. Exception. So what this is going to do is it's going to catch the error uh, and it's going to say, well, uh, there's some exception happening. And it's going to put that exception into ex. And ex is now a new variable that we have declared. So to show that, we can type 
message box um message box ex bam whoops so message box ex which is going to show the exception if we debug this and we say hello whoops i have done something wrong um x dot to string maybe let's try this again h all right so uh, as you can see it displays a big ass message box saying system dot invalid cast exception the conversie naar uh, van teken reeks h naar type integer is onheldig so this part here is uh, dutch because the um, the program is going to look what language of uh, windows you have and it's going to automatically translate that to uh, whatever you um, you um, have as um, I have no idea what I'm saying but uh, it's going to translate whatever error you have to uh, the language of the user so that's pretty interesting uh, but again you can type other code in here so you can maybe try it again or whatever so this is basically the try catch statement and it catches errors so that's all you can do with it uh, I mostly use it for um, you know converting stuff um, to integers or uh, well something else maybe uh, sending a mail uh, that can cause some errors too but uh, thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video please click the like button below if you like my stuff consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot also don't forget to follow my twitter and like my facebook page uh, you can also add me on skype you can add me on snapchat you can add me on uh, the instagrams you can add me well there are a lot of uh, social media where you can add me so if you have any social media just uh, look up Doombreaker and I will show up saying hello I'm Doombreaker and you can just add me and I'll add you so uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye